what subjects should I study at A-levels? And would it be to my advantage to do more than three A-levels? We recommend taking maths, further maths and physics, or alternatively, maths, further maths and computing. If further maths is available at your school, you are now required to take it. But if it's not offered, then we'll still allow you to apply, so don't worry. You will find more specific guidance on the university website about the official requirement. We recommend you do your three chosen A-levels at the best of your ability. Everyone who applies is required to have at least two A-stars and one A, so that is the minimum. Going beyond that, getting three A-stars in one of the two triplets mentioned above will generally be worth more than doing a greater number of A-levels without getting three A's in those. For example, if you get A-star in all three of maths for the maths and physics, that will be more highly regarded than A-star in maths, A-star in computing, and then just A in for the maths and A in physics, even if you did four. We do not require or encourage doing more than three A-levels. Of course, if you do get four A-stars, including one of the above triplets, that, that will look good. But if you have the spare capacity, there are also other and potentially better ways to make your curriculum more impressive, particularly winning medals in International Science Olympiads. We find that medals in the International Mathematical Olympiad and the International Olympiad in Informatics are very good predictors of high performance in our course. So consider investing time in preparing for those in the years leading up to your university application. Producing something useful out of your own initiative, such as you know, a program or a phone app or a physical device or even a small startup company that other people find useful, is another way of making your CV stand out and show that you are creative and enterprising.